to Mars. These are vessels that are equipped to carry people, but you wouldn't send people first if you're still sort of getting the bugs out of the system. So that's great, that would be advancing a space frontier. You know why? No one has ever sent a rocket to Mars that could have carried people. That would be advancing a space frontier. I look forward to that. And I don't know enough details, is he gonna bring him back? You kinda need to do that if you're gonna have people there, unless they signed up for a one-way trip, and Mars is not quite ready to receive people on a one-way trip. All right, you gotta wait for the terraforming for that to happen. Uh, you'd wanna bring them back. By the way, that round trip would take several years, and a minimum energy transfer from Earth's orbit to Mars orbit takes just under a year to do that. Then if you want a minimum energy return, you gotta wait until Earth and Mars are properly configured once again in our respective orbits, and then you can take advantage of that configuration and then come back. So a full round trip is several years. So I look forward to this and see how that unfolds. Those are definitely the first steps. By the way, the current American program to return to the moon, called Artemis, adds three planned missions. The first was an uncrewed mission to the moon. It went to the moon and came back, splashed down in the... In